Welcome back to the Abundant Harvest Homestead. I'm Papa Pepper. In this episode, we're testing out this Vivor MiG-250 welder. Now it has a lot more capabilities than I'm able to test out right now. So I'm just gonna use it with a spool of some flux core. And I'm gonna see what I can do with it. I have been welding for a couple years now, off and on on different stuff. I'm not a welder. I can get some jobs done. I can take some metal, join it together. It may not always look pretty. But I can get it where it serves my purposes. Um, sometimes you gotta be careful. I'll link a video up there. But right now, I'm just going to join a couple pieces of angle iron, see how it does with that. And then, a while ago I bought some pieces for a uh, grain bin. This is part of the flooring support of that. And I thought it would be cool just to kind of make a triple decker birdhouse out of this. So I practiced up on one just to make sure I could do what I wanted to do. I'll uh, make one on camera here with this welder and I've done some of these before out of wood. Some people who read books on birdhouses are like, that's not going to work, birds aren't going to like it. But apparently the birds I found didn't read those books because I've made things like this before out of wood that birds did like. So a metal one makes sense because it's you know going to last a lot longer. So I'm going to see if I can whip one of those together quick after I just uh, join a couple pieces of angle iron together. Clamped up and ready, so let's see how this goes. It ain't the prettiest, but it's joined together. So, all right, let's make a birdhouse, see how that goes. I'm gonna dial it down. I like how easy it is to adjust this thing. I went up to a higher setting for this metal because it's some thick rebar. Now, I've got some thinner stuff, so I'm gonna use a lower setting. As I said, not a welder, but able to join metal together. This one here, that's pretty good. I could have welded the back to make it more uh, secure, but uh, I just did that for fun. Here, you know, turned it down a bit, not welding this thick of metal. Didn't want to burn any holes through it. Didn't burn any holes through it, so that's helpful. And then uh, got this. Will it function as a birdhouse? Yes, I'll drill a couple holes through it, be able to put it up against a wall on a tree, something like that. I welded a bottom layer for each of the holes so they can come in, and then there's a floor. Could work, some might like it, but just wanted to test this thing out, see how this welder actually worked. A while ago, began doing some you know stick welding, 
Then doing some wire feed welding. Really like the flux core. Really enjoyed that. One of the next deals on my uh, to-do list was to get myself a welder like this. It wasn't going to be quite as capable as much as this is. So I got a lot of capabilities that I'm not tapping into right now just using the flux core. Um, but it works well for me. Easy, portable, lightweight, not that hard to assemble. Um, does exactly what I want it to do. And uh, I'm impressed by it. So. My wife even had a bassinet that had come apart she wanted me to fix. So this welder, perfect tool for that job. So overall, the Vivor MiG 250, I like it a lot. And uh, like I said, I'm just barely scratching the surface of this stuff because of how I'm set up. If I had gas and if I had some other stuff, I could do a, a variety of other things with it. Not able to tap into that right now, but you know, even this. Pretty secure. So, to hang on the side of the tree and let some birds live in it, definitely tough enough for that. Um, that's that. I've got a couple other reviews coming up in the future. I'll put some reviews as well over here and over here. Some previous Vivor products. We'll see you next time. Papa out. Bye.